Hi, Awesome Armor. This is Mr. Corbett here with a great DIY project on how to make your own Newton Spring Scale. Well, it's a very simple Newton Spring Scale that measures the relative amount of force that is put on an object. In this case, we'll be using it today to measure the relative amount of force in gravity put on an object. And you only need three simple materials. First is a ruler. Uh, preferably a centimeter ruler, but it can also measure in inches because we are measuring relative force. We don't need to worry about the units. You will need an elastic band and you will need a paper clip. Okay. Oh, one last thing you'll need is a mass of some kind. In this case, I'm using a water bottle and it has to have a loop of some sort like this that your paper clip can attach to. You, if you don't have a water bottle, you can alternately use a pencil case or something as simple as a mug. And you can hook your paper clip through the handle of the mug. Okay, let's start. First of all, take your ruler and then take your elastic band and hook it over the top of the ruler. You can hold it or if you'd like and you have a little bit extra tape you can choose to tape it here as well so it doesn't slip off. Next thing you do is you take your paper clip and you open your paper clip up like a hook. I'm going to open it up. There. It's opened up like a hook and then you're going to feed your paper clip through your elastic band. Just like that. There, when I stretch the elastic band out a little, I see the bottom of the elastic band, or the top of the paper clip, is at about seven. If I pull down on the paper clip, what do you think will happen? Yes, it will go down, and you'll see the numbers will increase. So I can keep pulling down as I exert more force, on the elastic band and the paper clip, it stretches and you see the numbers are bigger. Okay, that's how we can measure relative force. So up here is relatively less force than when I pull on it down here. That's relatively greater force. Okay, so how do we measure the amount of force in this water bottle that gravity exerts on it? Well, we normally measure force in Newtons. Unfortunately, I can't tell you what how many Newtons it is, but I can still tell you relative how many, uh, how many units of force that are exerted. So let's measure this water bottle and we'll see. But remember, we, before when we had it just loosely on there, it was around seven. Now I'm gonna hook it on. We're gonna see how far further down it is. Okay, so I'm gonna line this up. And it looks like it is around 10 centimeters down. So that's a net increase of 3 centimeters. Okay. And as I said, I don't know how many newtons that is, but I do see there is an increase in uh, force of gravity on this object, which is the water bottle. Okay. Let's try the mug. What do you guys think? Do you think there will be a relative increase of force on this mug compared to the water bottle? Let's try and find out. So I'm going to hook the paper clip through the handle. I'm going to let go of the mug. And let's see here now. It looks like it is around 12 and a half. So I see there was a relative, compared to the water bottle, there was a relative net increase of about two and a half centimeters. Okay, so we know that there is relatively more force exerted on this mug than there was on this water bottle. Okay, what I'd like you guys to do as part of your assignment is to create your homemade DIY Newton Spring Scale. 
I'd like you to find several objects with hooks or handles. I got one right back here. This is a, a Minions bucket of pencils. I'm going to hook it right through here and see. And measure and record the amount of force that is required to the a gravitational force that is exerted on each of these objects. Let's see how many, how much gravitational force it is relative to the mug and the and the water bottle. What do you guys think? Let's make a hypothesis. Do you think this is going to have more force or less force than the mug? Let's give it a try. Okay. Whoa. Okay. If you guessed more force then you are absolutely right. This has 20, let's see, 24 centimeters. Wow, so we see there was a net increase of force compared to the mug. Okay, so we know that this is relatively requires greater amount of force, gravitational force, it uh, is exerted on this than the mug. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'm looking forward to seeing your projects and your assignments. When you get a chance, if you can, take a pic of your completed uh, Newton Spring Scale along with something that you are measuring. Great working with you. See you later. Bye.